Hi everybody, I'm Pamela Atwood, Certified Dementia Practitioner, Gerontologist, and Certified Laughter Leader. And I'm proud as always to bring this Confident Caregiver Series to you through Aging Care Academy, which is one of our dementia care services programs over at Hebrew Healthcare in West Hartford, Connecticut. I hope that you'll visit our website, agingcareacademy.org, and of course, all of our programs and services that we have available through hebrewhealthcare.org. What I wanted to talk to you about today is actually something that one of our viewers sent in for questions. They had a lot of questions about some of the classes that we offer, so I wanted to take an opportunity to answer them for everybody. So we will start with a little bit about the difference between some of our online classes and some of our live classes. Our Aging Care Academy program actually offers a lot of live classes that are delivered here in West Hartford, Connecticut. So you can go on our website and right on our homepage on the lower right hand side you'll see a lot of the um, programs that we're speaking at or um, you know our, our experts here at Hebrew Healthcare are doing presentations. We also have um, online classes that I teach. So I have four classes now that I'm teaching. One is an eight-week course. One is a, uh, excuse me, the eight-week course is on dementia for, uh, mostly for healthcare professionals, but I have had some families take it as well. And then I have a four-week family caregivers dementia class, a four-week general parent care uh, and aging class, and then a four-week class on taking care of folks with a Lewy body dementia. All of those are available and you can register right online through our agingcareacademy.org website. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to carefully pick this up and bring you right over to my desktop. And let's see here if you can see there's our website. And then if you come up here to professional development, You'll see that the first one on that tab is the LEARN, L-E-R-N, classes. And it has information here about the Dementia Specialist course, which is our long eight-week course, and also some testimonials that our students have given us feedback for. It's a very, very popular course. And right here, it has course registration. So when you click on that, that will bring you right to our page on the uh, online place where they offer the course and you can see there's links here for all four courses. So it's just that simple and um, now you know how to do it. So agingcareacademy.org and professional development. Even if you're not a professional that link will then bring you right back to the courses for families as well. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, let me tell you some more information about the courses themselves, though, because a lot of people haven't taken online courses. So the first question that um, this person had asked was, how does it work? So once you're registered in the class, the programs are available in what they call an online asynchronous format. So this particular provider of online education actually is connected with 6,000 different colleges and universities across North America. I've had students from the Bahamas, from Iowa, from Washington State, from British Columbia, and other provinces throughout, Connecticut, um, throughout Canada. So it's really a cool way to, to meet and kind of talk to other people online who are going through similar issues or wanting to learn about the similar, same topic that you are interested in. Um, the way you do it is you sign up for the course, and whether it's the four-week or the eight-week course, uh, you will be able to have access to the readings, to the... Um, to the presentations. I actually do lectures and they're all based in PowerPoint and so you may have to download an Adobe um, Acrobat PowerPoint reader but it's very simple to do and that part's free. The Adobe um, software is free. You don't have to pay for any of that um, software. Um, how long is it? It really depends on the course. So like I said, there's an eight-week course and then there are three four-week courses. And that, um, they're all registering right now, so the next run that we're doing right now is starting in April. Are there lectures and readings was one of the other things. So yes, I actually, kind of like these videos, I actually um, audio record. They're not video, but they, I do audio record my presentations. So they are... Um, tagged to a PowerPoint presentation. So you'll see a slide that has, you know, information or, or statistics or whatever, and then I narrate the, the information that goes with each slide. Each course has different units. So, um, for instance, each week is considered a unit, and there might be three presentations in that week. 
Um, when you do that, that was totally up to you. So one of the other questions that this person had asked was, when do I fit this in? And that's really what's cool is you can fit this in four o'clock in the morning, ha ha ha, or three o'clock in the afternoon or nine o'clock at night or midnight. It really doesn't make a difference because it's asynchronous. You watch it when it's convenient to you. You answer then those, um, discussion questions, which I'll get to in a minute when it's convenient to you. Are there textbooks? The um, Dementia Care 8-week course, I do have three suggested books. They are all books that you will use again and again, both as a caregiver and throughout your professional career if that's the field that you're going into. Um, they are basically the 36-hour day. They're my, they're my favorite books. The 36-hour day, which is just the gold standard. Um, not my favorite book for you know, content, I mean, not for content, but because it is, it's a fabulous book for content. It's not a reading book. It's not something that you read and learn about. It's a reference book. So you go to it because it's overwhelming. The 36 hour day is that kind of book that you put in your bedside table and access it when you have that kind of issue. So like, let's say the issue is a behavior or incontinence. You go to that chapter and you read about it and you learn what to do. If you as a caregiver were to read the 36 hour day cover to cover, you would be overwhelmed and totally depressed. You'd have a ton of great information, but you'd be very overwhelmed. So that's why I like the 36 hour day. Then the second book is Learning to Speak Alzheimer's by, by Joanne Koenig Cost. And the third book is Hiding the Stranger in the Mirror by Cameron Camp. And I should say the 36 hour day is by Peter Rabins and Nancy Mace. They are great resources. They are my favorite books and they have taught me the most of any of the um, college's courses or curricula that I've ever taken. So they're really great resources. Those textbooks then are, are kind of woven into the presentations. It's not like you're going to have to read it cover to cover, but I'll refer in, for instance, um, week six, I'll refer to chapter seven in learning to speak Alzheimer's disease, those kinds of things. What's the grading system like was one of the other questions. And the grading system is really simple. It's pass fail. So when you take these courses, you're expected to pass the self-learning quiz, which I'll talk about next, and have at least one substantial discussion post per unit. That's all you need to do in order to pass. Now the quiz is what we do is there is a quiz at the end of each unit. Now I think in the dementia family caregiver course. I think that's the right one. I actually only have just one quiz and it incorporates all four weeks. I, I feel like family caregivers are stressed enough. So to add the extra burden of more quizzes, I'm much more interested in learning about them through the discussion posts. The discussion posts are really the only way that I, as a teacher, have of knowing whether or not you're getting information out of the class uh, if you're learning and processing this new content and, and information. Now, I will tell you though, I mean, you know me from these videos, I'm totally easygoing. I really am a, a decent, nice person. And my philosophy as a teacher is if you can't pass, then I have failed. This is my burden, not yours. So it's really important to realize that the quizzes, that the, that the discussions are not meant to put pressure on. It's just a way of me making sure that I'm communicating the information in a way that you need to get what you need out of the course. Um, so the discussions, let's talk about the discussions. The discussions are actually a really cool way of having kind of a, um, an online discussion about what the content is, but you type it in um, and then post it for others to read. You can respond to other students' posts. You can respond to my posts. So I always start the discussion topic. You know, it kind of reminds me of Saturday Night Live when Mike Myers um, was playing, what was her name? Oh, Linda Richmond. And she would say, okay, coffee talk with, with Linda Richmond. I'll give you a topic. And she'll say, discuss amongst yourselves. And, and that's kind of like what I am. I'm Linda Richmond. I'm saying, you know, coffee talk. We're, we're going to talk today about parents and dementia. Okay, so not everybody can have a parent who they get along with. Discuss. You know, those are the kinds of things. I, it's not that, that's not really a real discussion topic, but that's the kind of thing, obviously without the fake New York accent. Um, what do you get in the end? That was the other thing that one of the um, people had inquired about. What you get in the end is, is the pride of knowing. No, I'm only kidding. What you really get in the end is you'll get a transcript from the company that processes these um, courses. They're called LEARN, L-E-R-N, which is Learning Education Resources Network. 
and they um, will give you an official transcript. I will also send you a certificate of completion. So once we've done all of that, you will get a certificate of completion for the dementia specialist course or for the family caregivers or the success and aging parents course or the Lewy body dementia course, whatever the course is. Um, and, and so you'll have that that you can then print and display on your wall or, or just keep in a file or present for if you have um, continuing education classes that are, are required. I do not have it credentialed for CEUs, but you may actually, with the official transcript, be able to present that for continuing education because it is actually a registered college course. But you would need to talk about that with the folks at LEARN for more information to see if it's um, going to uh, be supported by your credentialing uh, body. How do I know it will help me? You want to read the testimonials. And don't believe what I tell you. Read the testimonials from the other students. Ask other people who have taken the class. And if you can't find any of them online, you know, just let me know and, and I'll connect you with somebody. It's a really good way to do it. And it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a great way to get kind of the most up-to-date information that's available in, from a resource that you kind of trust and who you know is not going to be threatening or scary. So how do you sign up? Go to the website agingcareacademy.org www.agingcareacademy.org and the registration, the tuition, all of that information is available when you click on professional development and online classes. So you'll find all of that information there. That is my show for today. I hope that this was helpful information. I hope that you will get the education that um, will help you with all of these decisions. And that is really what you will get out of taking these classes is information so that you will continue to be a confident caregiver. Until next time, I'm Pam Atwood. Please be sure to join us at HebrewHealthCare.org for more information and updates. Also, I have just created a Facebook page for Aging Care Academy. So now you can find us on Facebook. Just search for Aging Care Academy. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram at Pamela.Atwood. And of course, I'm on Twitter as well at Pam Atwood ALZ. Thanks so much. Have a great night.